Hey, how's it going? No, oh, that was bad. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. Um, I don't, I don't know how to intro this. What, uh, what do you want me to say? Hi, welcome back. It's me again. We're going to be d looking at a game or something. Look, I'm just a little bit tired, so. Okay, so you probably shouldn't gargle coffee. That was a really bad idea. Today, we're going to be looking at a little game called Velvet Clouds. Velvet Clouds. I said to change. Whenever I clap, you're supposed to change to the next slide, Philip. Velvet Clouds. Now, have any of you heard of a an unknown small title called Dark Souls? Called Dark Souls? Philip, I swear to God. I know, but this is the, like the same thing. Dark Souls. Well, this game has nothing to do with it. So... I'm not really even sure why I brought it up, to be honest. Now, if I had to compare Velvet Clouds with another video game, because as somebody doing commentary on video games online, I'm legally obligated to do, I still wouldn't do it. All right? So, you can't make me. I'm a grown man, and I'll do whatever I want. So, I'm putting my foot down on this one. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Velvet Clouds is kind of weird. Very obscure, kind of ARG ish, AR, ARG like, ARG E, ARG esque. It has ARG elements, right? So let's take a look at it. So, gameplay, huh? It's neat. You move around collecting things and avoiding enemies, so nothing new there. If you get hit too many times, you have to start the level over, but don't worry about it. It's not all that difficult. Dang it. Oh, come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I want to break my keyboard over my knee right now. The game starts with simple graphics, and as you progress, it becomes higher quality. Not entirely unlike a game called... Nope. Mm-mm. Not doing it. Okay. Not going to compare this game with another game. Get out. As you play, you'll meet some colorful characters that each have their own, um, quirks. Yeah, those are quirks and not red flags. Definitely not red flags, but we'll talk about them later. As you progress through the levels, you'll gain some buffs, extra hearts, speed boosts, a shooty fire thing. It's casual. With extra hearts, you no longer die in one hit, which is cool, but I obviously didn't need it because I'm a god gamer and I never die, <laughs> right? Now, instead of simply losing your life when you touch an enemy, you're instead thrust into a creepy screen with vague dialogue about the enemy you ran into. Choosing the correct response will see you return to the game. Choosing the wrong response will take extra life from you, sometimes killing you, making you start over. But I obviously wouldn't know about that because I never died in this game. It's not the least fun thing I've played, but let's just say this game's strong suit isn't the gameplay. It's the exit button. Oh! <laughs> Got him! Let's talk about the story. This game has themes of mental illness, which is pretty much mandatory if you're going to make an indie game. It's kind of like how every song is about love. You notice that, right? The plant lady suffers from some sort of fear of abandonment or something. Look, I don't know. I'm not a psychologist, and probably the person who made this isn't either. The Ice Fox, who is totally an Ice Fox and not a homeless man, has whatever thing he has. And it's creepy. Here's a fun detail. These symbols right here are Japanese and translate to Baka. That's right. I watch anime in Japanese with no subtitles. Anyway, our sussy Baka here gives us hints if we give him eggs. The more eggs, the more hints. Some hints are more useful than others. To be honest, I ignored this mechanic at first. But then, I happened upon this. Bye.
Jove, this... This is a YouTube video. Sorry, I always wanted to do the whole take off the glasses reveal thing. Uh, but I don't wear glasses, so these are fake. So let's just go on over to a web browser and type. The oh, my God. They can't see this, right? They'll fix it in post. What do you mean you'll fix it in post? Okay, well, just make sure you cut it out later. I'm serious, Philip. I don't want people to know that I have a micro penis. The URL takes us to this video, which is a video of a fox eating an egg, and it's in Japanese. Wait a minute. This video is in Japanese, and the hat that the character's wearing in the, in the game has Japanese text on it. And the guy also is a self-proclaimed fox, and this video is about... A fox eating eggs, and we collect eggs to bring to the fox in the game. So, wait. That must mean... I don't know. I don't, I don't see a connection, to be honest. However, it doesn't stop there. Upon collecting more eggs, he gives us another YouTube video. This one is way more creepy than the last one. Here it is. Okay, so uh, now we got a few new characters. We've got Martin, and we've also got this um, ghost guy. Also, unrelated note, I left a comment on this video, and I was proud of it. After collecting the last thing on this level, the graphics immediately change. Look, a poopy. Out of nowhere, an edgy loofah attacks you, and you're greeted by little big planet Sackboy, who's fallen on hard times. He pulsates at you while breathing ASMR plays in the background, only broken up with the occasional screeching noise. This uncomfortable moment lasts for an entire minute. Oh, careless Rex, only one minute, Pasha. Don't be so melodramatic. Oh yeah? Is that what you really think? Well, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stare at you for one minute, uninterrupted. Not even gonna break eye contact. Are you ready? Go. I can't, this is, I'm sorry, it's, my eyes start to burn, I can't do this. Yeah, that, but for a minute. Afterwards, you're thrust into a new stage, but this time, everything's different. The graphics have changed and nothing is interactable. Eventually, you happen upon a new character who calls you a traitor. Her name is Batty, just thought you should know that. Immediately after her calling you that, the following happens. Hello, it is me, Robert T. Facefinder, the third, first of my name. And I'm here to show you faces in these images because you clearly can't make them out yours up. Now, if we take a look at this first one, we have two eyes, a nose, right here in this area, and a mouth. It's pretty scary stuff. Let's look at the next one. And over here we have what appears to be a left eye and some malformed teeth. Yes, very spooky indeed. Let's take a look at the third one. Yes, this third one is quite tricky indeed, but um, if you, if you look closely, um, uh, you'll see... If you look very closely underneath the error sign, you'll see two eyes and a mouth. Yes, very, very scary indeed. The creepy continues as you're thrown into another level. The error message seems to be a common theme now. 
While making your way through this maze, you'll notice that your character is now invincible and will devour any opposition it runs into. Mmm, delicious. You'll eventually find yourself in a clearing with a single piece of paper. Collecting it will make Rehab Sackboy flash for a moment, and the following message will appear on screen. A small appeal to the fans from James. Hello to all the players, thank you for passing my game. I have been developing it for days and nights, trying to please my fans. Oh, you can't even imagine how much effort was put into it. But I want to discuss something else. I have a friend named Martin. He also, like me, creates games. I can see how hard he's trying. Let's all support my friend together by buying his game, Velvet Clouds. He will be very happy about this event. He didn't pay me for advertising. I just love my friend and I want his games to become famous too. Let's support Martin. Click to continue. After this lovely message, we see a crying man, but there's no way of knowing who this person is. It'll forever remain a mystery. Perhaps, in the future, some data miners will be able to uncover a name for this crying man. But until such a time, I'll refer to him as Martin. It turns out that in a jealous rage, Martin began sabotaging James's video game. In the process of ruining the code, he discovers the heartfelt note James left promoting Martin. Overwhelmed by guilt and caught in the act by James, Martin confesses. And that's when you're given a choice. You can forgive him, or you can cut him out of your life completely. Forgiving him leaves you with the happy end where they reconcile, Martin learns from his mistakes, and the two have a lifelong friendship. Choosing the latter sees Martin sulking in the rain and the two never talking again. Ah, oh, how sad that last ending. All in all, the game was an interesting play. It didn't overstay its welcome, which I appreciate, and I enjoyed its general creepy vibe. My only real criticism here is the actual gameplay wasn't very fun. In fact, it could be downright frustrating at times. But the point of the game wasn't the gameplay. It was the meta story about Martin and James. So, I forgive you, Danacy. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now, I am notorious for missing things and not checking into things as thoroughly as I should. Boo! Oh, get over it. I'm under the impression that there are only two endings, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, also, I didn't get to see all of the Ice Fox's hints, so there might be some more ARG type stuff there too. Games like this tend to go a little bit deeper than surface level, so if you feel like I've missed anything or you want to try your hand at trying to find something that I didn't, I'll leave a link in the description for the game. I also want to quickly shout out the Creepy Gaming subreddit. I found this game from a post in their Discord. They've been an incredible source for these types of games and the community is absolutely lovely. So I wanted to give them a big thank you and if you found me from there, feel free to leave a comment letting me know. You are all outrageously lovely. Now get out, the video's over. I'm serious. It's over. Why are you still here? It's we're through. Get this camera out of my fuck. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to kiss that like button right on the cheek. Mwah. And if you want to catch these live, I stream them most evenings on Twitch. So hop on over, give me a follow. We'd love to see you there. Have a good one.